Good evening and welcome to tonight's extra special broadcast of Fresh Fish News, filmed right here at Club Sway, where in just a few hours we'll bear witness to the 50th episode of Fresh Fish. It was nearly five years ago that Sway launched the RuPaul's Drag Race inspired drag queen competition, and since then nearly 80 contestants have appeared on the show, many as amateur performers. By its nature, the show breathed new life into the southern drag scene, drawing contestants from a three-state area and presenting campy drag as an alternative to the region's deeply rooted pageant drag culture. International stars Detox, Willem, and Shangela all appeared as celebrity guest judges in the first three regular seasons, and reigning All-Stars winner Trinity the Tuck performed at Sway Pride 2018 in a show hosted by Fresh Fish All-Stars winner and current Fresh Fish host Harry K. Olsen. There is quite a lot of herstory here, folks, and we'll be sharing bits of it with you throughout tonight's broadcast. But first, let's get to the occasion itself. Our 50th episode will feature contestants Savvy Savant, Scarlett Eli, and Eva Lucian, who will be interviewing on Facebook Live during our special coverage of the 50th episode. The winner will advance to the spring semifinals on the second Saturday in May. And of course, we already know who's waiting for them there. Glossy. Jeffa Stone earned her bid in February, and Gianni Colucci punched her ticket just a month ago in March. We'll take a look back at their respective paths to the semifinals after this brief message. I'm Jimmy Hart, mermaid goddess of the jealous sea. Welcome to my fish bowl. And speaking of fish bowls, have you ordered one of Slay's drinks? The fish bowl. So good it'll hypnotize you. The only thing better than a mermaid's cuisine is this drink. Isn't that Welcome back, I'm Miriam Saavedra. With a look back at the past two episodes, here's Harry Kate. Glossy Gevestone had just landed like fresh tilapia when she won the February episode of season four against relative newcomers Trixie Duval and Lady Parts. The come from behind <laughs> winner wowed audiences with talent that was certainly no illusion. But the judges questioned whether Glossy was presenting any illusion, period. Her actual on stage presence allowed the judges to forgive a lot in the look department. Later in round two, she performed to Gonna Find My Love by Brandy. And already it looked as though a fishier queen had emerged from her cocoon of sweatpants. Her joy was certainly part of the reason for her win. The other part was lady parts, and more specifically, her cookies. She lost them prior to arriving at the club, she later told judges, but that did not stop her from competing in round one. Now, producers spoke to lady parts during intermission and encouraged her to stick it out. Ultimately, she left the club. Her surprising exit allowed Trixie Duval to tiptoe to the lip sync for her life, which put her toe to toe with Glossy. The pair performed to My Love It, You're Never Gonna Get It by In Vogue. Before the judges chose to award Glossy the first bid to the spring semifinals. With that, another piece of this season's story had fallen into place. The next piece would involve a bit of a flashback. Every past regular season of Fresh Fish has featured a Bring Back episode, in which queens who didn't advance past their first round received another shot at making the finale. But this season, the Bring Back episode became the Shangela episode, featuring queens from previous seasons. Returning were Gianna Colucci from Season 3, Esoterica also from Season 3, and Chanel Heffington from Season 1 and All Stars. In round one, Gianna delivered one of the biggest opening numbers of the season, setting a high bar before eventually cruising to the win. This was a number she had prepared and previously presented in a pageant for newcomers. The performance was evidence of the work she's been doing since making her drag debut in Fresh Fish season three.
Chanel channeled her opening number in Fresh Fish All Stars and served her original brand of sex kitten realness, earning praise from the judges. Meanwhile, Esoterica stayed true to her namesake, confusing first-time visitors with a performance that included a reference to her Gaggy Award for Best Comedic Performance. While she was eventually eliminated before the lip sync, Esoterica dominated round two, referencing multiple holidays in the holiday-themed round. Let's watch. Teach you a song that we're going to be doing as our intro song during Lent. We know how the lip sync came out. The question is, do Esoterica and Chanel, as established characters in the Fresh Fish universe, have an inside track at winning either the fan vote or the judges' wild card? What do you think, Miriam? It depends. I guess it all comes down to their like social media presence. I could see a lot of them taking advantage of that mm -hmm. with the fan vote, or who knows, you know, judges. Totally, and Esoterica is so crazy. I think that people would be eager to see what yeah, she might Esoterica definitely has a soft spot in my heart. Yeah, so. totally, but Chanel is so hot. Like, she just, ugh, I don't know. Every, I could sit and watch her thirst dance trap. for days. Yeah, totally. Drag thirst trap. And with that, we'll come back after our commercial break. Oops. We're doing it again. Join me, Harry Kate Olson, at Club Sway on April 27th for Oops! A Britney Spears tribute party. We'll be playing hit after hit me baby one more time. Sometimes I like to get a little crazy. What about you? See you on the dance floor. It'll be me against the music. Welcome back. And now, in a new segment we're calling A Deeper Look, here's Lady Cassandra, the White. Good evening. I'm Lady Cassandra, the White. 80 drag queens have competed in Fresh Fish. Obviously, I am one of them. But I have to admit, the statistic with the K shocked even myself. 80 drag queens, could it be? I wanted receipts. When I asked the producers, they produced them. Right before my very eyes, and now yours. I read through the names of 80 some competitors who've inhabited these waters for nearly half a decade. My investigation couldn't end there. I need more airtime, of course. This called for a deeper look. Any drag queens have appeared on the show, but who has appeared most? I set out to find the answer. Of course I knew I would be among them. I first appeared in season three. I was chosen for the inaugural All Stars cast and made so many appearances after my elimination. Some have called me the Cameo Queen, and that's Cameo, you guessed it, with a K. <laughs> I also appeared as a guest judge just last month. All told, I've appeared in nine episodes of Fresh Fish, and now one edition of Fresh Fish News. 
but my airtime is nothing compared to a few others. Head judge and creator Jason Weiss has appeared in a total of 50 episodes. Oh my god, how many episodes? 50, that's all of them. Judge Everquake isn't far behind. As for actual competitors, Harry Kate has the most appearances, if you count all 10 All Star episodes in her subsequent time as host of the show. Then there's Lola Colucci, who, as runner up of Fresh Fish All Stars, hashtag rigged, has appeared in all 10 episodes, plus three in her original season, as well as one uh, this season as guest judge and guest mess of the show. Of course, she retired. Meanwhile, I have this new segment of Fresh Fish News. <laughs> you may have also heard about my new monthly show, Crystal Ball. Where the guy? <laughs> well, I'll also take a deeper look. You don't have to be a psychic medium to get the sense that I, myself, really am the preeminent queen of the entire Fresh Fish series. Behind Harry Kate, of course, that was written in the script. That's not what I believe. <laughs> anyway, many of 80-some queens have fewer appearances than I. Some only have one. Some only have half. <laughs> However, this season's introduction of the Shangela episode meant three queens from past seasons would get a chance to increase their number of appearances. Gianna Colucci won, of course, meaning she will get at least two appearances this season, bringing her total to six. If she makes it to the finale night, it could be eight episodes for Gianna. Wow, eight episodes. That's in my neighborhood. Is this a threat? Could she be coming for my gig? I've decided it's worth looking into. Join me next month as I take a deeper look. You've got to love the queen of the cameo with a K. We'll return after this. Free cover is in the cards for Aries at Lady Cassandra's next party, Crystal Ball, happening Friday, April 19th. What else will happen? For the low rate of $1.99 per minute, call Cassandra for a play-by-play -play reading. Or for the flat $5 fee, you can see for yourself. Join us for Lady Cassandra's Crystal Ball, Friday, April 19th, only at Sway. She became the meme queen of Fresh Fish All-Stars web series, in which she openly discussed her transition. These days, she's frequently featured at Sway as the host of Open Stage Night and as a cast member of Downtown Divas of Little Rock. This weekend, she steps into a new role as guest judge of Fresh Fish. Venus will have her vote this weekend, and you'll get yours soon. In May, immediately after the conclusion of the spring semifinals, members of the live audience will be able to cast their votes for this season's fan favorite, who will receive a bid to the season finale. There will also be an online voting component to the fan favorite selection process, so make sure to stay tuned for updates. Our next broadcast will recap the 50th episode. Then, we'll be broadcasting live in May after the spring semifinals, and... Don't forget, we'll have live bonus coverage for you of the 50th episode. That's all for tonight. I'm Erin Saavedra. And I'm Harry Kate Olsen. And I'm Lady Cassandra for what? For all of us at Club Sway. Now, anchors away. Yay. Meme queen. Meme queen. Meme queen. Now, anchors away. This is the move. Do this. Do what this. When, when she says anchors away, we all go. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, Have you not watched this. these episodes? <laughs> Do you want me to be honest? <laughs> <laughs>